Hello everyone, James here again doing another video review. This time it's on the new DX7. The DX7 is a new release, just came out this week. Uh, it's gonna be in between the six and the nine. I got both those radios sitting right here and we're gonna do a quick comparison of them once we do the unboxing real quick. Um, just kind of a brief thing, the DX7, the reason why it's mostly came out is for the helicopter guys. Um, also for the quadcopter guys that need something greater than, that, that need that one extra channel uh, that to control the gimbal or something without getting into that the higher price of, of a DX9 or a DX18. So they really, at a price point, a map price point of uh, $349.99, which comes with an AR8000, uh, which is a $129 receiver by itself. So kind of think of the value, um, really, you know, you do the math, it's actually a really great deal for what you're getting uh, in the aspect of a radio and the, and the receiver built into the package. Um, but let's go over the quick, uh, just a little bit of quick specs on this thing real quick. Um, comes with a uh, 2000 milliamp uh, lithium ion battery. Um, the quick, I'm just jump back and forth, the DX9 comes with that. DX6 does not. You can buy an upgraded pack for that, uh, but the DX9 comes with a uh, AAA batteries. Uh, excuse me, AA batteries. Where the DX9 comes with that ion battery. Uh, 12 volt uh, power supply comes with the power supply to be able to charge it. So that's really good. Um, uh, let's see here. Nine uh, different uh, wing types. Um, just going over the primary ones here. Uh, 250 onboard mini memory model. Um, that's a lot. Most people will probably never fill that up in their lifetime. Uh, I say most, or I'm sure there are some people that might have that. Um, DXM X software, uh, wireless training link, which is a really, really huge thing. The wireless training link uh, allows you to buddy box with the, uh, with the different type of radios that without having that tether, tether cable anymore, you basically bind that radio. Uh, to this particular one, and, and that makes that link for you. Uh, telemetry support, uh, you buy the telemetry module. Uh, that allows you to uh, send information back to the transmitter, uh, voltage, airspeed, uh, RPMs, uh, G-forces. Uh, they've got a plethora of, of just sensors for this thing to be able to uh, relay back down. Uh, large backlit LCD display, we'll look at that closely in a second. Um, let's see here, an SD card reader does not come with a memory card. Uh, they did before come with memory cards. They just had a really bad luck with them. So uh, it's just better to go buy yourself a, a smaller uh, memory card. I recommend on the radios I had before, I'd recommend a, a two gig or smaller memory card. It's somewhat decent quality. I have run into issues with my DX9 um, to having problems with that when I did try did larger memory cards that actually damaged it. Um, so make sure you guys stay. If you do get this radio or get the other radios, uh, make sure you stick with a smaller memory card. Um, let's go ahead and unbox this thing real quick. All right, there's the box. Set that side real quick. All right, on very top, we get the sheet of uh, stickers. You can sticker up whatever you want to, showing off that you have the new DX7. Got the usual user manual. I'm sure in 25 different languages, of course. Uh, this is a mode two, obviously, for most most commonly used mode, mode two. Uh, the user manual. Uh, next strap. Nice little neck strap there. Comes a little detachable. Comes with two different detachables. It comes with a handheld detachable, which you can a little metal clip or a, a quick release that you can actually put on your radio directly. I personally don't like this little guy. I, I've actually had that come out on me before. I just go ahead and use this metal, the metal latchy and, and latch it directly to the radio itself. All right, set that aside. All right, we have the transmitter charger. Transmitter, the charger uh, that comes with it, <clears throat> comes with all the different uh, connectors on it. It's a standard spectrum charger, uh, micro plug. Uh, you pick the connector, plug it in the wall. It comes with a little bit of instructions about the charger. Piece of paper instructions. Got the instructions there for this charger. 
All right. We have the AR8000. Once again, guys, this is a $129 value. So keep in mind when you're looking at the 349 mat price on this, you're getting a $129 uh, receiver with that. So keep that in mind when you're shopping out the controllers. Uh, we got the bind plug and a little Allen wrench. I think the Allen wrench is for uh, getting inside the radio and making micro adjustments to uh, the different things inside the radio. Put that there. And then we have the DX7. All right, DX7. First impressions, tray out of the box. Um, switches are very nice. Uh, DX9 quality, DX18 quality switches. The gimbals, once again, I think uh, right at the par of a DX7, uh, excuse me, a DX9 and DX18. Um, if you look at the two bodies, which I'm going to have a picture close side by side, they look almost identical side by side in um, the aspect of, of what they are. I also had the Black Edition 9 here, um, but the gimbals are, are pretty much right on par with, with what it is, the knob. Um, I really wish on this, uh, just kind of quick looking at it, the, uh, the R knob, I wish they would put it back up here in the top where it is on the DX9 and the DX18. Uh, because it is convenient because it's you know it's you have that switch if you want to roll your finger over to grab that it's really hard to kind of reach your finger over to grab that knob but um, you know if you're using that for a gimbal or whatever or even or even subtracted that or, or made that put two switches back here I think that would have been nice for this for that price point uh, but all in all um, you know looks really good there's a 2000 uh, lithium ion battery right there Charges it through the back. Um, so it does have the exact same thing as the DX6 does, where you actually flip up this little flap um, and then and be able to plug the battery in and, and charge it through this little rubber strap, right? Rubber thing right here. And we'll go, we'll, we'll take a closer look at this as I'm talking and uh, we'll, we'll go through some details. Um, let's go ahead and turn it on. I'll see. Yeah, so it's exact, literally exact same programming as the DX6 and the DX9 um, and the 18. What is nice about that is if you're out in the flying field and you have a buddy that, hey, is like, you want to fly my plane or, hey, I want to buy this plane from you. You can actually, if he's got one of these radios, one of the new ones, you can download the information off the of SD card, transfer it, bind it, and just fly it. Um, so you have all this trim settings and everything from that model. So that's a nice thing about having everything universal, universal software on these. It makes it simple to be able to just transfer stuff off and on the, on the radios. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really, really nice. Um, uh, but yeah, there's the unboxing of the DX7, brand new, just came out this week. Um, definitely, I think, is worth the price point that they're asking at the 349 map price. Uh, but yeah, it's it's really nice compared to the DX7 or DX9. I think it's worth the money. I mean, if you're if you're in the market of, of not spending, you know, four or five hundred dollars for radio, the DX7 is is the where it at. So appreciate it once again. Thanks to our sponsors, HobbyOhio.com. That's HobbyOhio.com for allowing us to get this product and, and be able to evaluate it, touch it, and show you guys what's out there. Appreciate you stopping by. Comment, subscribe. And let me know how I'm doing. If you have any products out there that you want me to try to grab and do a review on, let me know. And I'll try to do that for you. I appreciate everyone watching. Have a great day.